What's going on guys, Ryan Rotolo here at the Crypto Fiend Studios, bringing you guys the hottest, the latest, and everything crypto related news. Today we're just going to be doing a little bit of an update on the market, where we stand, and what we could be seeing in the next week or so, as well as some news revolving around cryptocurrencies. So if you guys have been keeping an eye on the market, which I'm sure you all have been doing, because who doesn't check cryptocurrencies 5-10 times a day, if not more, I know I do, uh, you would know that we're doing very well. We are starting to get money coming back into cryptocurrencies, $25 billion dollars in the past 24 hours has come back into cryptocurrencies um, and the market cap is getting very very close to that 500 billion dollar range is what we definitely want to see bitcoin just recently passed ten thousand dollars and as you guys can see the majority of everything is up on the day as well as greatly up on the week so that is awesome to see as well uh, if we go over and look at the price movement of bitcoin because bitcoin is the leading cryptocurrency if something happens to bitcoin it's going to affect the rest Bitcoin is doing very well right now. It did ricochet off of the 200 day and it's working its way up to the 100 day. It's a little more than halfway from the 200 day to the 100 day, which is nice to see. It does have a little bit of support right around here. Uh, but if we can get to the 100 day, this will be phenomenal because if you guys can see, we have the green line, which is the 50 day, and we have the yellow line, which is the 100 day. And the green line just passed the. Uh, the yellow line, which would be awesome. That's double support for Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin can get its candlesticks up to the 100 day and the 50 day and have that double layer of support, that would be excellent for cryptocurrencies across the board. Uh, so that's really all we can tell right now for for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is we kind of just have to wait to see how things play out in the next couple days. Uh, if money keeps coming back in, that would be awesome. If we start getting more good news about cryptocurrencies, I have noticed we are starting to get some bright sides about cryptocurrencies, mainly that cryptocurrencies are starting to move in value again, stuff like that. Uh, all the FUD does seem to have gone away, finally. Uh, it was a drastic like 15 days. It We started this back on January 29th, and ended it, we'll say around the second. So roughly, uh, no, the sixth. What am I saying? We worked out, started working our way back up around the sixth. So roughly a week of that dip, but it felt like a lifetime. I don't know about you guys, but it felt like an absolute lifetime. Um, and it really started all the way back from here. So the mid of January, we've been kind of down the whole time. But we are starting to work our way back up. Who knows? Maybe this is time to see all new highs, but only time will tell. So if we look at the market, let's just take a look at a couple cryptocurrencies that are doing very well right now. Uh, we have Litecoin doing very well at 51%, uh, down on the hour, but up on the day 7%, around $220. Very nice to see, as well as Ripple up 49%. Everything's up greatly on the week. We have VeChain up 20% on the day. Awesome. Uh, we have Lisk. Lisk is doing very well right now, up 38% on the week. Lisk is having their rebranding on February 20th, so just keep an eye out for that as we work our way up to that that date. Uh, I definitely think we're going to see movement upward in the green, uh, but also keep an eye out after the, the relaunch because what tends to happen is people hype up a coin uh, on the rumor and sell on the news. That's like the phrase people use in in the markets is you you buy the rumor and sell on the news so we might see a little bit of a pullback on the 20th but who knows if this relaunch is great the list could go double who knows no one can tell uh, but if we keep going we have nano nano is not doing too great right now Do down 25 percent on the week now this is mainly due to one factor uh, now this did come out a couple days ago so it's not the newest news you guys probably already have heard of it Bitgrail got hacked for $170 million worth of Nano a couple days ago on February 9th, so six days ago, so it's not really new at all. Uh, but I just wanted to mention to you guys because we're seeing the price movement of Nano. Uh, so Nano was just recently braid blocked. So Nano is taking a dive right now, mainly due to this what this what happened on Bitgrail where they got hacked. Now what's very interesting about this hack is that a lot of people are being very speculative on it, saying that the creators of the exchange did it on purpose. They are the ones that hacked the cryptocurrency as an exit scam. So pretty much the 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 owners of this exchange stole uh, nano from people in order to get 170 million dollars and then they're just going to dump the exchange and leave um, I don't really think that's the case I really do think that they possibly potentially just got hacked because 
To be honest with you, Bitrail is not the most widely used exchange. It does hold, a, I believe, 14% of Nano. Yes, approximately 14% of the total outstanding value of Nano. Uh, so it does hold a good amount. But overall, Bitrail is not the most widely used exchange. So who knows? Maybe they don't even have the best uh, firewall, best defenses uh, on the exchange. So that's just something to consider as well. Um, but we just really have to wait to see what happens with Nano. I hope Bitrail fix their problems because that was that would be terrible if a whole exchange went under. It would definitely affect the market. Uh, but right now, Nano is definitely getting de getting affected. Roughly eight dollars and fifty cents, uh, which I didn't think we would see in quite some time. Now, I personally do hold Nano in my portfolio. I I am not selling it. I'm not selling it due to this. Uh, I think we will work our way back up slowly but surely. We just have to let this blow over uh, and let time you know let time go on and at these prices with nano i think this is an excellent price to get in personally not financial advice but eight dollars and fifty cents with an all-time high of 31 dollars can't go wrong with that at all uh, if we could keep going on binance coin is about to hit 11 dollars. that's very nice to see that was down in the dumps for quite some time as well as everything else uh so i mean as you guys can see everything is really up on the week which is awesome awesome to see another thing i want to talk about right now is ucash now, this is a cryptocurrency that, that literally just came out of nowhere, literally just popped up in the top 30 like that. Now, these are the cryptocurrencies you guys have to look out for, and I personally think you should stay away from. The reasoning for this is, I I personally think, I, I don't know if it's true or not, I personally think that these big pump and dump groups where there's thousands and thousands of people... Uh, what they do is they go into a cryptocurrency, they tell each everyone, okay, we're all going to go invest in this cryptocurrency right now and pump the price up greatly to 60, 1500% like you, you cash got up to, got up to, I believe 1500%, which is insane and uh, cash out because everyone else is going to start getting in because they're going to think it's the next one and then they're going to cash out and get their money. So that's personally what I think this was uh, due to is a large pump and dump group flooding money into ucash getting it up in the price and then dumping it and as you can see here it's just downtrending now and before before all this happened it was complete flatline like there was no reasoning for ucash to soar in price like it did um so i would personally just stay away from these guys uh because it's not worth the risk at all it went from one sixth of a cent to 20 23 cents so if you got in before it exploded and you got out congratulations you just made a lot and a lot of money uh but i just don't think it's worth the risk especially with something like this where it's just so volatile especially it was over a billion dollar coin a day ago and now it's worth 356 million another coin i want to show you guys real fast that did the exact same thing as ucash was ecoin ecoin did the exact same thing as ucash a couple days prior to ucash now if you guys look at this chart you can definitely see what's wrong with this ecoin was completely flatlined all of 2017 and then randomly it went from five dollars all the way to 207 dollars with a one one billion and 32 million dollar market cap that's insane. This coin went from nothing to the top 30 in the matter of a day. So that just goes to show the power of these pump and dump groups, how they can completely manipulate the price of a cryptocurrency and steal money from people because a lot of people that invested in this weren't even people in the pump and dump. They saw a cryptocurrency going up greatly in value, so they jumped in it and eventually it's just too late to get out and you're going to end up losing your money. So currently, Ecoin sitting roughly around $35, and it's sitting around that value because all the people that jumped in anywhere in this great run-up is holding onto that coin, hoping it goes up again because they don't want to lose out on all that money they invested. So again, just stay away from stuff like this because it's not worth it. And what I thought was very funny about Ecoin is that I went to do research on it myself because I want to know what it was. Everyone, It was up greatly over a thousand percent. I want to know what it was. It randomly came to the top 30. If you go to their website, their website is broken. So they don't even have a working website. How are you going to invest in something that doesn't have a working website and you can't even research what it is? 
that's just stupid and that's how you're going to lose your money in the crypto space so just stay away from stuff like this if you see a cryptocurrency even above a hundred percent even above 60 percent don't jump in because you never know where it can go now if it go does go to a thousand percent uh it, it can happen but it's just not worth the risk especially in the long term the people that do stuff like this they're the ones that are going to be losing also is ranked 449 right now 449 from the top 30 so that's just that's just crazy in my mind 12 million dollar market cap from a 1 billion dollar market cap a couple days ago uh, so again guys that's my rant to you guys just stay away from these pump and dump coins if you see something up greatly just stay away um, so other than that, everything is doing very well in the market. Again, we kind of just have to wait a couple more days, see where things go. I think we will steadily begin to work our way up. We might see a little, a uh, little stagnant at 500 billion, but we'll probably know by tomorrow where we're at because again, money is starting to really flow back in. And then with Bitcoin, if we can get to that 100 day, get to the 50 day, that is great for Bitcoin. That's exactly what we need to get to those new highs. Uh, some news for today, surging Litecoin is leading the crypto pri price recovery. I just thought this was interesting to look at. The uh, Coindesk.com had this chart showing the uh, percentages of cryptocurrencies from the, the lowest dip we had on February 6th. And Litecoin is at 112% with Bitcoin at 60, Ethereum at 60, Ripple at 90. So as you guys can see, everything is greatly up on this past week or so. Uh, so if again, if you guys watched my past videos where I told you this was the time to get in at these lows I hope you did I hope you took my advice because you you're gonna be sitting on double your money right now if not triple uh, And especially in the next week or so so that's really our look on things Just give it another week or so keep an eye on your portfolio uh, keep looking researching cryptocurrencies and other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave comments below, whether it's a question or your personal opinion, no bias on this channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.